Welcome to this JavaScript tutorial where we're going to be discussing JavaScript operators and the all-important if-else statement. So you need to have an HTML page that you can work with, which of course will include your HTML tags, your head tags, and the body tags. Um, the script tag is what we are going to be adding. We'll add some HTML elements that we are going to work with and then we are going to create a function that will then show us how the uh, if else statement works and the different operators that you can use so what we are going to do in this in this tutorial is we are going to expand on the previous tutorials uh, addition calculation and we are going to create a uh, a calculator which can do um, addition subtraction multiplication and division depending on which on which uh, operator we select to perform the action on the two values that we are going to be entering into the into the calculator. All right, so let's start off by adding our HTML elements. So firstly, we want a text element. We'll give this one an ID of num1. Then we want to create another one so that the user can obviously enter two two values and then what we're going to do is in between that we're going to create a select list which will give an ID we'll call this one operator and then the values that we have within our select list or the options we have within our select list are going to contain the addition value which we are going to assign let's see hold on let's add a plus sign there right so that's our first option We are going to add subtraction. Multiplication. and of course division then we'll also need a button so that we can submit submit the uh, let's say the expression we'll submit that to our JavaScript calculator so add that as a button give the button the value of calculate Let's save and then I'm going to refresh my browser and make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. We are looking for a text box where we can enter one variable, which we are going to call x. The user can then choose an operator, whether he wants to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And this will then, of course, perform the action on the second variable, which we'll call y. Um, when the calculate button is clicked, which is of course an on-click event. It will then uh, invoke the uh, the function that we're going to create, which will actually do the calculation on these two variables. So let's implement that. Okay, so within our script tags, we're going to create the function. We'll call the function calculator, opening and closing parentheses, and then our opening and closing curly brace. So first of all, we want to declare our variables. So we have variable x, which of course we are going to get from the document object, the get element method within that object, get element by id. Of course, we want to reference num1. And then the property that we are after is the value property. Now, of course, you should remember that 
the value that is sent is not um, interpreted as a number by the JavaScript code. So we need to tell JavaScript that it must first pass this value as an integer so that it can recognize it as a number and so that we can perform um, so we can perform arithmetic operations on that number. So let's do that with variable y. Document get element by id. This is of course num2. And we are also after the value. So now that we've got the values of x and y into our function, we also need, uh, need to let our function know which operator we are going to be using. So we want to declare the operator, we'll call this op for short, and the operator will then also grab the value of that element. Okay, and this element id is called operator. And then we are after the value that has been specified. We don't need to pass this as an integer because we are after the the text value or the string that is stored within the value of that of that specific option. Then lastly, what we are going to do is we're going to declare a variable called ans, which is where we are going to be storing our answer. Now we aren't going to assign it any value at this stage. So for now, this variable is what we call and what we call undefined. So it's been declared. And JavaScript knows that the word ans is a variable, but it's got no values assigned to it, so it's called undefined until it has been defined a value. All right, so now we need to get into our if-else statement. So what our if-else statement is going to do is it is first going to check what the operator is that has been sent to the function, and depending on which operator that is, it will then interact on that operator in a certain way. So for example, if the operator is the is addition, it will then add x and y together to give us the answer. If the operator is subtraction, it will then minus y from x, and that will then give us the answer to that. So let's start off with our if statement. So an if statement, the syntax that you will use is the word if, followed by an opening and closing, pr closing parenthesis, and the opening and closing curly braces. This will obviously check for one parameter. To check for more parameters, we'll then say else if, also the opening and closing parentheses, opening and closing curly brace, and this can carry on for as many as you would like. So let's do the first one. So let's say if op, remember we defined our operator as op is equal to addition. So that is specifically this value that we have in our option down in our select list. So if it is addition, then we need JavaScript to declare the variable answer as being x plus y. All right, so that is our addition out of the way. Then we need to check if the operator is equal to subtraction then JavaScript must declare the answer variable as x minus y the next one of course is multiplication and in this case we want JavaScript to multiply x with y Else, if the operator is equal to division, we would like it to declare the answer as x divided by y. Alright, so this gives you an idea of the arithmetic operators that we can use. Of course, plus, minus, uh, the asterisk for multiplication and a forward slash for division. Also, what we have a look at here are what we call comparison operators. Two equal signs will compare the right side to the left side, um, whereas one equal sign will make the value of the left side 
equal to the value on the right side. So it actually changes the value on the left hand side. Then we are going to have a look at the the um, the AND operator. Now the AND operator, also a comparison op well this is actually what you call a logical operator. So it will check in this case if operate if the op variable is equal to the string division and it's a y is not equal to zero so this is your not equal to operator and of course you can't divide by zero so we don't want uh, it to do a division uh, sum on these two variables if somebody is dividing by zero So let's save that. Let's go over to our browser. Just make sure that I haven't made any mistakes. So let's see, one, we'll use the plus sign. All right, so I have made a mistake. We have forgotten, well, I tend to do this on occasion, is we need to add the on-click event to our button. So once we click the button, it needs to invoke this function. So we'll say on-click, then we want it to execute our calculator function which has been declared over here now if we hit save go to our browser we'll refresh say so one plus two and we need to actually make it output that okay so this is the final step in the process which I haven't added yet so we've done the calculations we've got the the values input by the user we have uh, let's say imported them into our function uh, we have got the, the operator and we've declared the answer variable we've done some calculations on our different variables and now of course we need to output our answer to the HTML element where it is going to display our answer so let's create an HTML element I'm going to create a p tag say answer and then within that I'm going to create a span tag an opening span tag which will give an ID of return we won't add any any text into the span tag because we'll use HTML to populate that with text okay so once it's run through the if statement we'll use the document get element by ID return we want to use the inner HTML property which will then define the value of the HTML within that uh, span tag and this must then be NS we don't need brackets here okay save go to our browser we'll refresh Let's see if this works this time. One plus two. There we go. Our answer is three. Let's try a minus sum. Five minus two. Well, let's do something where we're going to get a different answer. Ten minus two gives you eight. That's fine. Let's say two times four. Well, again, let's do something which is going to give us a different answer. Two times five is 10 let's do a division let's say 10 divided by 5 will give us 2 and then remember we said that if we divide by 0 it's not going to perform the uh, the division uh, sum that we did in within our function so if we click calculate now it should tell us that the answer is undefined so that is because we declared the variable a and s and now that we haven't performed we haven't actually given it a value so it stays undefined 